Thanks for the lift, Mike. Man, are you in trouble. The principal found out you've been cutting school. Judy Clark told me she heard him call your dad. Judy Clark knows Zip. I'm serious, John Ross. She works in the principal's office during study hall. So I'll get suspended, big deal. I get to stay home and watch TV all day. What's your problem? Do you want everybody mad at you? I'm the one who should be mad at them. For letting that stupid baby into the house. He's ruining everything. I guess it's no fun being an uncle after all, is it? You should talk. It's not as if you've been seeing a whole lot of your dad, either. At least I don't cut school because of it. Just forget it. I got a call from my mom yesterday. So? So she really misses me. She got me my own horse for when I come to visit. Big deal. You got your own horse here. Yeah, but at least she'll be around to ride with me. She's the only one who cares about me. Who even thinks about me. I hate it here. I just hate it here. Yeah? You want to see me, Dad? Yeah, man. Shut the door. Your principal called me this afternoon. Apparently, you've been skipping classes all week. Hope you got a good reason for that. School's boring. They're not teaching me anything I don't already know. So you think you're ready to run an oil company? School can't teach me how to run an oil company. Well, where do you think I learn? And James? Or do you think you're smarter than just about anybody else? I just hate school, all right? Why don't you get off my case? Listen, son, don't you talk to me like that. I don't give a damn whether you like school or not. You are going to go to school. Why? So I could be just like you and James? Who cares? I don't want your stupid company either. Well, you listen to me, son, and listen good. I've had it with your attitude. Your cousin Lucy gave my daddy the same lip that you're giving me, saying that she could skip school anytime she wanted to. And he taught her a lesson. I'm going to teach you the same one. From now on, one of the ranch hands is going to pick you up first thing in the morning and drive you straight to school and walk you down the hall to your classroom, if that's what he has to do. You understand? Yes, sir. All right. I don't want to have this conversation again here. I'll be back in a couple of days. When I do get back, I want to see a big improvement in your attitude. Some food left over from dinner if you're hungry. You okay? I hate him. He's the worst father in the world. I guess he came down on you pretty hard, huh? I'm out of here, Christopher. I'm gonna ask my mom if I can come over with her. No way! I'm serious. I never want to see my dad again. I don't want you to come with me to England. Yeah, right. I mean it. Our dads don't even know we're alive anymore. At least we won't get all this junk from my mom. But I get along fine with my dad. Yeah, when you see him. Come on, we'll have a great time. So what do you say? Are you with me or not? <laughs> 